there are a lot of people who learn, whether it be through books or through training, like, oh, I'm supposed to have this big why. And it's this, this pressure to have this big monumental thing that we're supposed to leave behind as a legacy or we're supposed to achieve in our career. And for some people, it's too far to go from where they are now to this massive big why. For other people, they're not driven by a big why. And it's so important to know that it's okay. Whichever way you go, it's okay. You need to find out what motivates you on a day-to-day -day basis. If it's a big why, great. If it's not, don't use it. Don't look for it. Really find what helps you make progress in your world and use that as motivation for your next step or if you're someone who is motivated by the big why to get you to that big why. But don't focus on the big why if you don't have one. Take the steps to either find one or find a path where you don't even need one. If we're owning our truth, not all of us are that noble, right? Not all of us have some big legacy that they want to leave behind in the world. That's okay. There are people who, who are altruistic, who, who want to do things for the greater good. That's not natural for everyone. And being in a place where you can own that doesn't make you selfish. And that's the difference is we connect not having this big altruistic thing we want to leave behind to being selfish. They're at two ends of the spectrum. There's a lot of stuff in between there. And so, again, owning your truth about it will prevent you from searching for something that doesn't exist for you and allow you to understand and create what you really do want. And that comes with articulating what you want based on who you are instead of what you think you should do. That takes exploration. Sometimes that takes a coach. It really is important to go deep inside so that you're not searching for something that really doesn't have meaning to you.